Hey everybody, welcome to the Mark Parham Podcast. You know, I've been on Twitter and I've been following the news and seeing this whole thing in Brazil and, you know, seeing what politicians are talking about and just a lot of different things. I, I watch and look at a lot of different news stories and things like that. And, um, you know, this whole thing about censorship, because everybody's talking about censorship in Brazil with, uh, you know, I think they, well, not think, I know they so, they censored, uh, you know, Elon Musk and X, you know, now it's X, but it was Twitter back in the days. And, you know, the question I have about all the censorship stuff is, they're more concerned, some of these politicians and, you know, people that work in the legacy media, they're more concerned with censoring Elon Musk, but they have no concern about illegal immigration, especially in Europe and America. And my whole thing is, instead of worrying about Elon Musk 24-7, shouldn't these people be worried about, you know, all of these illegal immigrants that are coming into their country, committing crimes, abusing folks? Like, don't you think that should be their concern? But, you know, for some reason, they just have this thing where it's just like, let's, you know, make this effort to go after Elon Musk and try to shut him down because he's spreading misinformation, all this other stuff. And it's just like what they don't realize is a lot of people that are on social media platforms like X, they're actually folks on the ground. And so these some of these liberals want you to think that, you know, some hocus pocus where illegal immigrants are perfect angels, they're not committing crimes and they're. Know, so beneficial to society. And that's not the case. I mean, I'm looking at real videos on the ground in England, in France, in Ireland, in Texas, in New York City, all these different places, Cal- uh, Los Angeles. And these are people, regular citizens that are just taking out a cell phone and they're actually covering a lot of things that the mainstream media wants to ignore. And so I think... um the good thing about social media right now is that anybody with a cell phone, an iPhone, camera can post stories online to place platforms like X and pe- millions of people around the world can see it. And so that's re- that's one of the reasons why they don't want, you know, someone like Elon Musk speaking out and having a voice, because I've seen some of his uh, retweets. Some of Elon Musk's retweets on immigration are spot on. I mean, the mainstream media... They want to control the narrative. They want to act like, oh, well, there's nothing wrong with immigration. And these illegal immigrants are hardworking people. They would never do something like that. They would never commit crimes. And, you know, people are seeing with their own two eyes and they're looking at retweets by Elon Musk and finding out, no, that's not the case. I mean, look at the situation in Aurora, Aurora, Colorado, how, oh, well, this is just overblown. And now all of a sudden they want to, I think they want to close down one of the apartment buildings. The mayor wants to do that. Isn't that interesting? So it wasn't serious. It wasn't a serious situation. Now, all of a sudden, oh, you know, this is turning into a slum and all this other stuff. So they really don't like Elon because he's influential. He's waking people up and uh, they can't do anything about it. And so they come, they're coming up with all these stupid rules and things like that. And they don't realize that they're actually making people do more research and say, wait a minute, if you're trying to censor this man or censor, you know, stories on immigration, maybe I need to look into him, what he's saying. And it's actually spreading the message even more. The more of these governments try to ban people from saying stuff or spreading stories and different things like that, it makes people curious. And so uh, a lot of people are waking up. Some people are waking up slowly, but they're waking up. And uh, instead of worrying about Elon Musk, some of these people in legacy media and some of these politicians need to look at what's going on with immigra- illegal immigration in their own countries. I mean, France and the United States and some of these countries, you know, they need to actually look at what's going on with illegal immigrants. And, you know, anybody with two eyes knows a lot of these folks are, some of these people are criminals. They're, you know, they're people that their own country doesn't want. So again, in the comment section, let me know how you feel. But instead of focusing on people like Elon Musk 24-7, and worrying about him spreading information, they need to be, you know, using that same energy to look at what's happening with illegal immigrate immigrants and illegal immigration. Thank you.